Okay, we are going to model this shovel here. Let's get into it. So let's do shift A, get a cylinder in. So this will be the main body of the shovel. So let's go to scale and stretch it out a bit. I'm gonna press S to scale it down, just so it's easier to work with. So let's think about that size. We might change it with time. We'll see what happens. Okay, so press tab to get into edit mode. Go to face select. Left click this bottom face here. Press E, right click, and then press S to scale it. Just a small amount. This is like that little metal bit near the bottom. So I'm just gonna pull it down a tiny bit. Okay, so I'm gonna press E again. Bring that down a bit. Okay, so then press E again. Right click, drag that down. Maybe like that. So then press S to scale that down. And uh, get the scale tool. I'm just going to squish that end in a bit. So I'm press tab to get back into object mode. I'm just going to move that off a bit. Okay, so shift A, get a cube. So this will be like the scoop metal bottom bit, you know, the actual like spade bit. So I'm going to press S to scale that down. And let's move that up here. The scale tool, I'm going to scale on the Y to tuck it in a bit. I'm going to scale it on this like cube thing here to scale it diagonally. Get it like that. Mmm, that's looking thick. It may be not that thick. Might be a bit big. Well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll tweak that. Uh, so if you press Shift A and get another cylinder. This will be like the top handle bit. So move that up, scale that down. Rotate tool, hold control, left click. We'll hit that 90 degrees. Just make it a little bit. Make it this, like, uh, make it a similar size, but just a little bit bigger. So this one can suck inside of it. And then just scale it across. That's kind of, that looks like a good size. So you want it to be like a bit, you, know, you kind of want it to be in the middle of these two areas here, I think. You know, something like that, around there. I'm gonna left click this, I'm just gonna move that off a bit. Left click this, tab into edit mode. I'm just gonna pull this face up a bit. I think that's more shovely. I'm gonna scale this up a little bit more. Okay, so left click this spade bit at the bottom, tab into edit mode. So we're gonna we're gonna smooth out the bottom bit. So you want to press Control R, and uh, hover over this bottom edge here. Move your middle mouse wheel up twice, so you have three loops. Left click, and then right click. Okay, so double tap A to deselect all that. Hold Shift. Left click, left click, left click. Pull that down. Select this one. Pull that down. So you get a nice point on the shovel. This is flat, so we want to put a curve in the middle bit. So press tab, press control R, left click, right click. So we have a loop cut in this middle bit. Okay, so I'm going to left click this edge here. So this uh, top middle edge. I'm going to turn on proportional editing. So this means when you move an edge, it will affect its surrounding areas. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this back a bit. Just like, kind of subtly. If you use your middle mouse wheel, you can change the area of effect. So obviously the bigger the ring, the more effect, the lower the ring, the less effect it has. So I'm just going to do it like that. So it's still in edit mode. Turn off proportional editing. Press A to select all this. And then just move that back into place if it's, uh, if it's moved too far. Okay, so it's still in edit mode. Go to face select. Hold shift and select these bottom faces here and get the scale tool out. I'm just gonna scale that on the Y a bit. Kinda like 
like uh, like that. So now it's more of a sharper point, you know, for digging. Uh, so left click back, right click, shade smooth. Left click the main pole, right click, shade auto smooth, shade smooth. So shade smooth on this main area. Press tab to get into edit mode with face select selected. Hold alt and left click this ring, right click and shade that flat. So when we go back into object mode, you'll see this is shaded flat, but the rest is smooth. Up here, so left click this top handle, right click, shade smooth. Press tab to get into edit mode. Face select, left click, hold shift, left click. So it's going to smooth these out by pressing E to extrude. Then I'm going to press S to scale that in a bit. Maybe like that. And then I'm going to use the scale tool to just pull them out a little bit. Like that. Press tab to get back into object mode. Hold shift. Left click the handle. Left click the shovel. Left click the main shaft. Right click and join. So now your shovel is one object. So then press control A and apply a scale. Okay, so let's add a material. So click on this material button, new material. Base color, we'll make this the wood color. So you wanna go between the yellow and the red and then bring that down so you get a brown. Then you want a plus to add another material slot, new material, base color. We just wanna bring that down to gray and where it says metallic, just bring that up a bit. So we go to material mode up here we'll see the material. So at the moment it's only using our first material. So press tab to get into edit mode. Press L on the main shovel bit and then hold shift and alt to select this ring again. So still holding shift and alt, select one of these lines here. Select one of these lines here. Hold shift and select that face there as well on the inside. So then select your gray material and hit assign. So if we go back to object mode, it should have assigned that material to that bottom bit. And yeah, that's our shovel. I hope you found this video helpful. Like and subscribe for more simple assets. Okay, thanks for watching.